Dave Mosher, producer for Discovery Space here at space.discovery.com. That is the official Discovery Channel website all about space. And this is your weekly wrap up where I take you through the three biggest things that happened in space last week. I know I'm a bit late this time around, but I don't think you'll mind, so let's jump right into it. You guys all like the Hubble Space Telescope. I know I do. I have it winning on the NASA bracket, uh, but yeah, I'll tell you about that later in my blog. Anyway, this is an image it returned in February, and this is Saturn, clearly, and there's the ring right there, and you've got Titan moon up here and a couple other moons, and these are actually casting their shadows on the planet. Very cool set of images. In fact, Hubble took a video of this, and I'm going to show that to you right now. What you're seeing is the shadow of Titan passing in front of the planet, and then you've got the planet itself, and that's, sorry, the moon. That's Titan, and Titan's moving around. And you see some other smaller moons, kind of difficult to see, but very cool nonetheless. So there you go, there's the video. Uh, another thing I want to tell you about is this. Now what in the heck is that? It looks like something out of a sci-fi movie or something. This is actually a gravity mapping satellite that was recently launched. Look how cool that is. In fact, people call this the sexiest spacecraft ever made. And that's because it has to be aerodynamic. Uh, it's going to be kind of, kind of low, in the, uh, low in orbit to map all the gravity in Earth and that's why it's got to be aerodynamic. It doesn't want to create a lot of drag and fall into the earth and, you know, explode. So, <laughs> uh, and you're probably wondering, okay, why, why do we map gravity on earth? Well, we all think that earth is this perfect, you know, uh, absolutely perfect sphere, and it's not. I hate to break it to you. It actually looks more like this if you could see gravity. And these are all the inconsistencies in gravity. You've got Africa right here, and there's, um, there's some red, that means really high, instances of gravity and there's some blue out in the oceans here that's very low instances of gravity so it's kind of a map of all the weird mass on earth and the surface and that's really important because we need to know what's happening with climate change and we can't accurately or as accurately map it if we don't know how gravity affects the oceans and the ice and the land mass so we need to do these things and Gochi which is that sexy spacecraft I was telling you about before is going to make a map three times more detailed than the one I just showed you, which is made by GRACE. That's actually a pair of satellites. So that's really great news. We're going to have a brand new gravity map of the Earth soon. I'm really excited. I don't know about you. But uh, last thing I have for you is this. This is the International Space Station. Looks kind of, you know, weird. That's actually normal. They, they bend the wings to, to point toward the sun. But what you're seeing here is just three sets of solar panels. Well, guess what? Space Shuttle Discovery and its astronauts just delivered the fourth one. It's finally starting to look complete. One, two, three, four sets of solar wings. I'm very stoked. I don't know about you. And there's a lot of work still to be done, though. Uh, they've got to send up Node 3, which is that module I was telling you about last week, which Colbert desperately wants to be named. In fact, uh, NASA did announce that he was the winner. Now, whether or not they're actually going to say this node is going to be Colbert, uh, that's uh, that's still a matter of, of decision right now, but there has been rumor that they're going to name a space toilet after him. So I'm, I'm not sure he'd be very happy about that. But um, yeah, Space Station is getting closer to completion. They've got to send up Node 3. They've got to send up a Japanese uh, laboratory. They've got to send up this cupola thing, which is basically a big window that they're going to attach to the Space Station. That should be amazing once it's up. But yeah, they have a lot of work to do before 2010, end of 2010, when the Space Shuttle fleet is supposed to retire. So cross your fingers, make sure that happens, and uh, thanks for joining in. Now, if you'd like to get some more information on anything you've seen here, you need to go to my blog. That's Space Disco, and it's at blogs.discovery.com forward slash space underscore disco, and the link's down here in case you can't see it. And the other thing is, if you're on YouTube, click that more info button to your right, drop down menu will happen, there's a link right in there, should take you right there. That said, thanks for joining in, and hope to see you on the site. <laughs>